hello welcome to my youtube channel i am mary sandra kindly subscribe to my youtube channel if you are yet to click on the red subscribe button below as well as like share my videos to those who are interested in writing icon examinations and i would love to see read your comments in the comment section below today i'll be talking about icon scholarship scheme i've been giving details on those who can utilize the scheme who fall under each of the categories of the scheme as well as the requirement to enjoy the scholarship so let's jump right in so first things first there are three categories of icon scholarship we have the diamond category we have the gold category as well as the silver category now for the diamond categories are for students who are first class graduates in any icon accredited institution irrespective of your course of study so it means if you graduated first class or distinction, as the case may be, from any ICANN accredited institution, you are and you are interested in pursuing a career in accounting by obtaining a professional certificate, then you fall under these categories. You are an engineering graduate, you graduated first class from the Department of Engineering, other sciences, arts or even other social sciences and you are interested in pursuing a career with ICANN, please, you fall under this category and you can enjoy this scheme. Now, secondly, are those under the gold categories. Now, the gold category is basically for best graduating students from any ICANN accredited accountancy or accounting department in Nigeria or as the case may be abroad and you are interested and you want to pursue you want to obtain your icon certificate then you fall under this category now for best graduate students that fall under this gold category does not necessarily have to be those who graduated with first class so in your set there was no first class but you are the best graduating you graduated with a second class upper and you are the best graduate student in that set and you want to write your icon exams you fall under the gold category now the last category are uh, is the silver category sorry now those that fall under the silver category are first the best student in year one in any accountancy accredited department or the best student in eight years the final level of eight years examination so you are currently in your year one and you to the best of your knowledge you are the best graduate student in your department and you can obtain a written letter from your head of department that you are the best student for that year one level and you're interested in going through eight years route before proceeding to professional examinations then you are under this the silver category or the best graduating student at eight years final level that's eight years three automatically gets scholarship to write skills and professional examinations so these are the categories of individuals that fall under the three categories of icon scholarship scheme now as a student of as as an icon scholar who is operating under the scholarship scheme what and what are required first things first you you must have you must have registered as a student of icon that means you have done your registration you have registered as icon student then secondly you have done your you have you must have apply for any necessary exemptions now for those who are accounting graduates from icon accredited accounting departments in any institution in the country those who are writing skills level know that there are some papers that are exempted you you may be required to write four or five instead of the six papers at skills level it means that you must have paid your exemption fee because you are you are even considering applying for the scholarship scheme now after paying you after fulfilling these first two conditions the next thing is to apply for the scheme and what and what are required when you apply first is a recommendation letter from your head of department for those under the diamond and the gold category you must get a recommendation for your head of department stating that you are the best graduate student in the case of the gold category or you graduate with a first class from the for, for those under the diamond category and you, you are highly recommended to pursue your examinations then after obtaining your recommendation letter from your head of department the next thing is whichever state you are going to be writing your icon exams you have to go to the district chairman of that state to obtain a written recommendation letter from that district chairman after obtaining a written recommendation letter from your district chairman from any state where you are where you intend to write that exam then you can forward your application to the institute 
Now, initially, what the scholarship covered was both your, ex your exam fees at both skills and professional level, or ATS as the case may be, and your study packs, as well as your tuition fee. Now, tuition fee, yeah, implies you are, you are expected, the institute expects you to register for tutorials. So, and in, in, a, in an accredited tutorial center. So if you have gone for tutorials, they are going to, be, they are going to refund you any money you have paid at each level to the tune of 60,000 naira. That is what the, that was the stance of the institute initially. But as of November last year, the tuition fee has been scrapped. So no more tuition fee for those under ICANN scholarship scheme. You are only entitled to, this institute pays your exam fees as well as gives you free study packs. Now, there are certain conditions you must fulfill to continue enjoying the scheme pen until the point where you are fully chartered, you are, you are a qualified student. Now, first things first, you must pass each level at two consecutive diets. So take, for instance, for those on that skills level, you want to write the four papers at once. You are writing four papers and you want to write them at once. And you write the four papers at once and you scale through that means you proceed to professional level and your scholarship is automatically renewed you you go for renewal but if you write four papers at skills levels and you pass three remaining one or you pass two remaining two as the case may be it means that the subsequent paper you are going to be writing or papers as the case may be will be paid by you the institute will not pay for you and you are required to pass that subsequent paper at the next diet if any failure at the subsequent diet automatically cancels your scholarship. Or you write, you, uh, a student writes the four papers at once and does not scale through at all. It means the, the, the scholarship is automatically cancelled. But for all my viewers, no, no, nobody will fail. Those are not the scheme. Then, for professional level, same thing. If you write the five papers at once, and you scale through wow congratulations you're a qualified accountant but if you take three and if you if you write three if you if you write three and you do not scale through the subsequent one you pay for yourself then there's also another explanation when it comes to this scheme if for instance you decide to at your professional level that you cannot cope with the five papers at once that you want to write three and at the at subsequent diet you take the remaining two now if you write the three at once and you scale through the issue will pay for the three at the first instance and pay for the remaining two at the second instance. The most important thing is that do not fail any paper twice and write all papers at two consecutive diets. It should, be, it should not exceed two. Now, initially, it was also the stance of the institute to grant this scholarship scheme to everybody at any time you register. But currently, for you to enjoy ICANN scholarship, you must be applying not more than two years from the date of your graduation. So it is very important that you start now if you are watching this video or you know the best way just say you're set and the person is yet to start his or her professional exams. Please maybe you should share this video to the person tell the person enjoy this scheme now or you may as well forfeit it. Then also anybody can enjoy this scheme but currently the stance of the industry is that not more than 150 applications per annum. So it is now on a first come first serve basis. So that is why I'm encouraging anybody watching this video or you know someone or know someone who knows someone who is yet to obtain, who is yet to start their ICANN journey to please start as soon as possible and enjoy the scheme. So that is it basically on ICANN scholarship scheme. I hope it has been impactful and it has been very educative. If there are any more questions you need to ask, please ask your questions in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video. Meanwhile, I'll be sharing the links and as well as the numbers you can contact to get better clarification on how the scheme operates currently my youtube line is not available so if you want to reach me you can my, you can reach me via whatsapp you can only contact me via email so we'll see you in the next video thank you very much for watching bye